So you're getting your clients enrolled and now the question is, how do you get them to sign their contracts electronically? Now there are a lot of platforms that you can do this with and I'm gonna share with you my process because I have used a lot of different softwares and there is one that I like the most and it's the best bang for your buck and it freaking rocks. And I'm gonna share that with you in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to Heart Behind Hustle TV. This is Camila Gornia, and this is where we help impact-making entrepreneurs to grow and scale their businesses online so they can turn their brands into movement. I'm gonna actually hop over to my computer, which is sitting right here, and I'm gonna share with you how you can set the whole process up to get your clients to sign their contracts. I personally use Adobe Sign. Now, I have used a lot of different platforms over the years, some of them more expensive than Adobe Sign and way worse than Adobe Sign not as many features, all that stuff. So I love Adobe Sign, it's the best. Totally love it, it's great. Let's go ahead and hop over to my laptop and let's make it happen. All right, so I am, uh, this is the page. I literally just went into Google and looked up Adobe Sign, like you can see right here, and this came up. And this is what you would see for the sales page. It's very, very straightforward. I mean, Adobe is a very, very well-known company and uh, yeah. I mean, if you've ever used Photoshop, it's the same company. So um, I just signed up for the individuals and the pricing is also really great. And let me tell you this, when I was using my previous software for like two years, because I don't know, I just couldn't find anything else. I was paying like $49 a month and I only had the ability to maybe have like five templates. So the same ones that I could just keep reusing. And this one is $10 a month and you can have all the things. It's amazing. I love it. And I just wish I had found it sooner. And by the way, I'm not an affiliate. So I'm literally just telling you about this because this is what I use and it's awesome. Anyways, it, this is how it looks like inside. So I am currently logged in and basically uh, this is this is like the page that you see there with like stats and stuff. I never really bookmark this page. What I bookmark is the send page because this is where I get to share, you know, the, the agreement. So I'm going to walk you through how this looks like. So I would, you know, type in, um, let's let's say, one of our emails and I would find a doc. All right, let's find this agreement. That's just kind of like a random green and then you click on preview and add signature fields. All right, and this is really, really cool because uh, there's this little icon that shows up here and it identifies where there are fields for people to sign. And then all you would ideally have to do is just hit on making sure everything is required, especially for a contract. And by the way, don't go copying this contract, please. This is my contract. <laughs> go make your own. And uh, same thing, like here, you know, so I would have everything selected and make it required. And then you can add different data fields and things like that. So I want a checkbox check here, make it bigger, make sure that's required as well. And then going through, and then same thing here. It's just so, so easy. And here, here's a signature field. Awesome name. I can change this into a date and um, I would remove this because I can't sign it on here as myself, but then I can change it to be assigned to me who is the sender and change this to text input as well. So I can change the, uh, the date. And uh, the cool thing is you can also save it to document library and you can have, I don't know how many honestly templates in the doc in the library, but a lot, I have a bunch and you just click on it and then you just, it would just ask you what you want to uh, save it as, and then you save it as whatever. I'm not going to do that right now because I already have a similar one saved, but then I send it. And because I, I signed something to myself to be signed, I, and it's just a date, I would just put the date of that here and then click to send. And now it has been sent to the sender. Now, the other cool thing is that you get to manage and see all of the documents that are out for signature or have been signed or anything that's been canceled, um, stuff like that. I'm not going to have that out, you know, so you can, I don't want you to see all the things from my clients, but uh, yeah, you can have a lot of like, look at all the templates we have. We could probably actually remove some of these because some of these programs we no longer have, but uh, it just shows you how awesome and easy it is. And for any of the templates that we have, you can just click on send and then go through that same exact process 
where it's already added. You just have to add the person's email. So if you're doing a launch for a group program or something like that, it's just super, super easy. But how does it actually look like for somebody when they have received? Look at this. Somebody just sent me an agreement to sign. That was the email that you would get, and this is what it looks like. Oh, here's a little message, awesome. And fill out all the things, and then once I was done, and then, you know, it's, it's cool because you click on sign, you can either type your signature, or you can, the person can actually draw it, you know, whatever. This is not my signature, FYI. <laughs> and you can apply it, and it's like legally bound, which is awesome. So um, once it's done, you just hit send like I did before. And that is the platform. I think it's simple. And it All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully this is helpful with you getting your clients to sign their contracts. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure that you enable notifications because I release new videos every Monday and Thursday, and I want to make sure that you see them as well. And this video is a part of my Set Up Your Online Online business starter kit that is a totally free and basically a mini course on how to set up your online business to be ready to start getting clients. So make sure that you check that out. The link is also in the description and you are amazing. You rock. I'm so excited to hear all about your successes and hopefully support you in the future. Mwah.